right, in this video we'll check out how to import and export products. So I'm just going to log into the admin panel, go to system, export. First you should really put in a few products manually or else you'll have a hard time understanding the columns in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to export, notice I chose products, CSV, scroll to the bottom and click continue, so it'll export. Now this will save a spreadsheet to my computer here. I'll open it up. It'll default to opening up in Excel. Now notice this is a spreadsheet of all your products and most likely you're not going to have to fill in all these columns. You'll probably just want to copy and paste from your previous products. So I'm going to copy and paste the Canon product that I had and put it here. So notice you'll just enter the different column headings. You have your SKU, you'll put that in there. Um, the other ones you can probably leave to what they default to. So notice you have your attribute set. That's the attribute set for that product, which is default. The product type, reservation. The categories that it goes in. So that's pretty easy to understand. The category and the subcategory as well as the root category which is default catalog. So I'm going to skip along here as these are all fairly straightforward. Notice you have your description field. Now the image, that one's a little bit harder to understand. Um, what you do is if you're first uploading a product, you put slash and then the image name. So let's say it's image name.jpg and you do the same thing for the other image fields if the product has more than one image it will have more than one line on the spreadsheet so we're just going to put one image for this product and we'll continue along here notice that each item will tell you what it is so for example paper rentals pricing type if it's prorated or non-prorated so you can look at those columns and for some reason the other images are over here so I'm gonna just fill in what I already had and in a second here we're gonna upload it via FTP and that is required if you're gonna use spreadsheets for images um, the URL key you don't need to fill in just leave it blank and let it autofill as well as the URL path um, now let's skip down to the most important part, or one of the most important parts, which would be the pricing, as that can be a little bit confusing. So notice here you have your time period, the time period type, day, hour, month, and the price. These other fields are coming from the quantity from and to and the date from and to, so you can just leave those as they are. And the last one is the customer group, which you can leave to negative one, which, which means any. If you have two price points, you separate it with a semicolon and put your next price point after. Okay. Now the next part might confuse people that have not used FTP, but it is worth learning. So I'm going to start up FileZilla, which is a free FTP client you can download, and put in the site name. and put in the host and the login information. These will be the same username and password that you use for your cPanel. Or, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. Alright, so it's going to connect to FTP. You'll start in your main folder. Public HTML is where your web files are. And media is where you'll want to go. You need to create an import folder and after that you want to upload your image files here so let's say this was the file image I wanted to upload I just put it in there drag and drop and it's good to go uh, now let's go back to the import and import it choose the file
and look at the managed products. And here's a new product. Uh, I didn't show on a screencast, but I changed the name to new product instead of Canon Lens so that you could see that it successfully added a new product. So that's about all there is to it for importing and exporting products.